I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, today I'll be talking about contentment. So contentment is defined as a state of happiness and satisfaction. Therefore it means we are happy with what we have and what we're doing. However, it's important to find, to somehow find a balance between. We might have to find um, contentment in difficult situations, in difficult circumstances, and for most of us, this tends to be very difficult. Other times, we have to be careful that um, our comfortable situation does not move us away from God's plans and what He wants to do in our lives. The realness of contentment can exist no matter how big or small the situation is. And a good character that we see um, is Paul. I'll be reading Philippians 4 verse 11 to 12. Not that I speak from any personal need, for I have learned to be content and self-sufficient through Christ, satisfied to the point where I am not disturbed or uneasy regardless of my circumstances. I know how to get along and live humbly and in difficult times, and I also know how to enjoy abundance and live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing life, whether well-fed or going hungry whether having an abundance or being in need. God was so real with Paul inside of him that he, could aid, he was able to handle whatever situation on the outside. However, we also need to be careful of complacency. Complacency is a state of self-satisfaction. This experience completely removes our eyes from God and our hearts from God and it puts it in a comfortable zone where we look at ourselves and we are more comfortable with ourselves. In the book of First Timothy 6, we learn that we can be so in love with our surroundings to a point where we lose sight of what we are called for. We lose sight of what God has commanded us to do in this world. As God's children, may we not grow weary or grow tired of focusing on God and may we also ignite the spirit of contentment. And in conclusion, I will read a scripture on how to stay content. Hebrews 6 verse 12 So that you will not be spiritually sluggish, but will instead be imitators of those who through faith lean on God with absolute trust and confidence in Him and in His power and by patient endurance, even when suffering are now inheriting the promises. May we stay content with what we have and what God has planted in us. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, mighty God, I thank you for this moment and I thank you for this time. Thank you for the wonderful spirit of contentment. Mighty God, may we be content with what you have given us and what you have blessed us with. Jehovah, may your hand continue to, up, to be upon us. May you enlarge our territories, Jehovah, and may you keep us away from evil. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.